Welcome back to round one. I'm gonna play potentially. Sh Ooh, that's a great keep there. Uh, got the splash color for Ariel Knight Windgrace and the Triumph of Gerard, and we got a great little curve here. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, opponent's multi six. Also wanted to play, so I didn't get run over by aggro. I don't know if there's much aggro in the format, but I just played against Wizards Blue. Excuse me, Blue Red Wizards the other day, and it was pretty good. Hope they don't play a G2 Lab run here. It doesn't really matter because I got the Triumph of Gerard. Sheep and Fire, pretty darn good. Um, he used it straight away so I couldn't play a creature, which makes sense. But then I'm not going to play this Triumph of Gerard, I don't think. And I'm not going to yield through his turn. Got to represent some kill spells and whatnot. Not, evis uh, not eviscerate, but Vicious Offering. Um, okay, now I'm going to yield away. Speak of the Devil. Accidentally mentioned Eviscerate. So it looks like he's the blue red uh, wizard stack, just as I mentioned. Don't know if it's aggro though. I mean, this guy's not not aggro at all, but he's still, he's still solid. And he has a sparring construct of his own. I can't block, so I'll be taking one damage. Um, yeah, he's used a sheep and fire. There's very little that many like low mana removal spells to get rid of this, so. I'm gonna attack first and then play Ariel Knight Wing Grace. Like, you know, if you had four mana, I'd be more worried about a, a Goblin Barrage or whatever it's called, and then uh, Fiery Intervention. So I'm just gonna play my Bomb Rare and start making Knights, or attacking and then start making Knights with it. Because the card is busted. And I don't think there's any three mana card that can deal with it, like, other than a combat trick that, what, like, I probably won't block, but he probably won't attack because there's probably no, not com no combat trick, like, Befuddle would get me. Oh no, minus four, minus one. No, Befuddle wouldn't get me. I guess he has four mana now. Okay, second one of those. Okay, so I'm going to get at least one knight out of it. He's going to spend... Blink of an eye? Blink of an eye, maybe. Surely you're not going to let me untap. <laughs> okay, that would have been a bold attack. So what's the black ability? Attack with both, make a knight. He might blink of an eye the token? No, why would you do that? I guess I'll do it in his end step. Create it. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it in his end step. Because then I still have a blocker. Wow, this card's so good. But like he's definitely you know capable of killing it now, but still got it. Oh, what's he got? Yeah. Yeah. So I got some sick value out of that. Four damage. He has to use a good removal spell, and I got a knight out of it. Like it just reminds me of like Gideon Ally is Alexander Claire, but a cre it's like a, the creature version. Ooh, bells and lock. That's a good draw. Um, I guess I'll put it there. Do I want, do I want to attack with a knight is the question. I'll definitely attack with the Aether Glider. Knight, he blocks, and it's a 2-4, and then I can't block. Then I have a second Triumph Dread. Yeah, I'll probably do attack. <laughs> he gets a 2-4 out of it, but mm, he didn't block there. That's interesting. Ooh, okay, well that's a little too late. I mean, I'm gonna get a big life swing. if I Even if I don't draw my land and play Bells and Lock, uh, I can just play a second Triumph Gerard and be happy about it. So, not too worried here. He must have another Sheep and Fire, so I'll probably put the counter on the Knight, because if I put the counter on the Aether Glider, then he'll Sheep and Fire or Blink of an Eye the Aether Glider, and I won't be happy. Oh, I have to put it on that. Okay, well, I guess if he's Sheep and Fire or Blink of an Eye, he's got me. Forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. So the question is, I could eviscerate this <coughs> and play a second Triumph of Dread, or I could play Bells and Lock. <coughs> uh, no, Bells and Lock's just better. Like he one card in hand, can't even counter it. Probably should attack first then. Bluff a combat trick, might get him for two damage. I 
Wow, yeah, the bluff worked. That's why you bluff. I get he gets to see more of our deck, but whatever. So we got the compass. Which is not bad. I mean, gains his three life. <clears throat> and, uh... I don't think it makes a difference now, because, yeah, we just have him. So, he's got two sheep. Ooh, that's pretty good. Kind of aggro-ish. I'm gonna have these sparing constructs in my deck, but... Tatsuko, any sideboard options for us? Three rack colonies. Um, they would block his one threes pretty well, but then it's bad versus sparing construct. And like one threes, I'm not really afraid of anyway. Maybe I want the blessing of bells and lock in response to a sheep and fire, but it only gets plus one. Tough. So like this is I'm trying to protect this. I'm trying to protect this. Or this or this, it doesn't work. If he kicks it on this, it works. Um, if he kicks it on this, it saves it. This one, I anyway, kicks it on this, it saves it. Yeah, I think I like that. Although, trying to ride is pretty good. Maybe I shouldn't just. Blessing of Bells and Lock. Has to be legendary. Yeah, that's maybe that's a bit loose. Alright, we'll keep that. He's gonna go first, and we've got the same kind of good start again. Uh, both our colors, Sparring Construct into Triumph Druid. I won't be blocking. He might even fire straight away here. It looks like he's gonna play Bloodstone Goblin, and then he'll attack, and then I will never block. Yeah, he's definitely an aggro deck. He's playing that. Uh, I could play Caligo Skin Witch here. Um, because then if I play this, put a counter on this sheep and fire. Yeah, maybe Caligo Skin, which is better. Yeah, I think I like that better. I just want to get to the late game. I like he's gonna play all his cards, so this doesn't really have a second mode. So like, if he wants to, at, le at least this like gets value if it, if it gets if it gets killed somehow. And if he attacks with both, I'll block here and then take one and like just basically make him do something. Like if he wants to shoot and fire this to finish it off, it's pretty bad for him. Okay, that's pretty good. Mana say, won't be blocking that. Take four. <laughs> Probably play the trapper. Although that's pretty weak to <clears throat> um, sheep and fire because maybe sheep and fire is when I double block doesn't really do anything so maybe I should dread put a counter on my skin which he's got sheep and fire up then play trapper next turn because then this sets up a lifelink turn yeah it's probably pretty good and I should leave up swamp for black spell yeah, I'm pretty sure I should put it here because it just doesn't get cheap and fired and now if I double block and he sheep and fires this this counter will go here and then I kill it so yeah I think that's just uh, the play just no attacks Although then I'm getting no value um, from the Triumph. Oh, so he blinks it, okay. So he doesn't even give me the option. Yeah, so he's now on the aggro plan. And now he gets to attack the Sparring Construct as well. It's pretty good. But I'll probably go no blocks again. He's kind of running out of gas. I wouldn't mind some lands. Because this gets no value, and then this is going to make it a 2 2 at least. He's probably going to Sheep and Fire it actually, which means he'll down to two cards in hand. Yeah, like he's hesitating here, so that means he definitely has sheep and fire. Okay. 
He might let me play a creature here. Um, so, the double block is still bad versus Sheep and Fire. So I think that means I just take four again. And then like try and set up a lifelink turn. What if I do this? Then at least this gets lifelink. Dice of Sheep and Fire. Yeah, okay. Oh, he can do this on the stack. Yeah. yeah so he'll do it on the stack. He'll kill this on the stack. Okay, he doesn't have it. Uh, I'll probably just go no attacks. Like, go win this game by him just running out of gas and me playing my massive threats, not by chip damage. Okay. <clears throat> now if he has d double sheep and fire, it's pretty bad. Man, he has really kept me off double blocking pretty expertly. Yeah, yeah he's got me. Five. No lifelink for me. Uh, he's got unblockables. Probably gonna lose this game. That's kind of good. This can't block. They can't be blocked anyway, so I shouldn't even bother playing this. Unless it sets up a double block next turn, which I kind of needed to. So yeah, I should play this. Ooh, should have left the swamp there. Whatever. Okay, I think I'm good, definitely gonna take out one of these Triumph of Gerards. They just seem pretty bad against like Blinks, Sheep and Fires. I'm gonna take six here down to two. I think I'm just dead because if I play Yargle, he just attacks me for two unblockable. Yeah, I'm just super dead. Oh yeah, dead. Uh, dead as a doorknob. <laughs> All right, he's super aggro. So yeah, I'm, I might uh, I might board in some stuff. Rat colonies, Triumph Dread, and one. I'm gonna get rid of like an Aether Glider because it can't block. I mean, they can be sacked to suit Sarah later anyway. Um, Yargo, are you any good? Maybe not. Oh, I can win with all these other cards. Alright, I think I like that. <laughs> um, gain three life. If we draw any land, this hand's pretty good. I'm not on the draw, though, so I play this turn one, then this turn two. So at least I got two turn... Two... Two early plays. If there's a land on top, there's 16 left in the land in the deck, so it's like basically a coin flip. So I got, I got two turns to draw it. Yeah, I think I keep this hand. It could be wrong. Could be definitely convinced it's wrong. Like I have two turns to win two coin flips, so it's pretty good. <laughs> and I'm pretty lucky, so okay, didn't get lucky there, but whatever. Again for one, none of his stuff has haste, nothing I know of. Get this out, get the, you know, look, a spell a turn, it's fine. So now even if we draw Swamp, we can um, still play Triumph for Dryad. Thought I yielded. Boom. So the question becomes, I think it's definitely Rat Colony actually. Because, you know, I just don't want to get cheap and fired when I play my Triumph Dread and have it do nothing for two turns, basically. <laughs> Maybe the Elvis Reborn is pretty bad for Sim, but like, it's just it's just a good card. Interesting to note that he didn't leave up uh, red hair, kind of signaling he doesn't have... Sheep and fire, and there's nothing for one blue mana, so probably a mistake on his part. 
How much is this cheaper by? <laughs> Does this just win? So sacrifice, sacrifice, four, so we've cost four. Oh, so I need two more mana, okay. So I have to play this now, got no other choice. Make a decent rack colony. He can get in for two, or trade one of his guys for my rack colony. I think I'll just wait. Especially since he's signaling to me that he doesn't have Sheep and Fire. Unless he's like double bluffing me and he does have it in hand and he's like, well, your stuff is so bad that I'm not going to use it on it anyway. But I could be wrong. <laughs> he's got a cool demon as his background. What's that? Withergar Unbound. Oh, I think that's the one where I like it's the equipment and it turns into a demon. It's, it's pretty cool. Oh, he definitely wants to. Uh... Oh, okay. Okay. Do I attack so he could block and then cheap and fire? I'd rather have it be a lifelink turn, I think. I just need to buy as much time as possible. Also, yeah, that could be wrong as well. <laughs> Maybe I should have just forced him to blink of an eye there. But like this gaining lifelink does nothing, so it doesn't really matter. He surprised to the top, that's bad for me. Means it's um, probably got a four drop. Not that we saw many of those in his deck. It's a cool land. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Could be a big instant in the sorcery here, actually. Yeah. Wow, that's gas. So now he should not attack for sure. Yeah. Because now I just get some lifelink damage in. Oh man. Lifelink, first strike. Well, I can't do anything, so I'm gonna pass. This would be this would pretty uh this would suck not to uh just to start off in O one with this deck, like this deck seems really powerful. Oh that's great in his deck actually, super aggro. No blocks. Our, our Ace there glider can't even block. Oh man, it's tough. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I should have attacked for one. Pretty sure that one damage is not the reason I'm going to lose this game. I think it's just the fact that I'm missing my land drops. Obviously, I kept a one liner, but I stand by it. So. Like, I had a bunch of really interaction if I drew one land. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, so he should be on 18, but I mean, I'm just not going to win this game. I think that's a little too late. Trapper, probably. I guess I can reset my left total with Torgar, which is pretty nice. That is pretty cool. Yeah. This guy's pretty cool. Like a cheeky ninja. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna win this game. Didn't even think about that to be honest. Wizard retort. It even says I can't lose the game here. Why am I losing? Oh, the arcanists. Oh man, we're drawing lands now. Cooking with gas. Um, yeah, I don't want to sack Ariel Knight of Windgrace to Torgar. So it's. Oh man, he's definitely got a sheep and fire. Um, yeah, it's probably just this. <laughs> yeah, the Torgar will be nice to reset. will gain us uh, six life, four life, five life, something like that. I'll wait until, oh, it'll gain us six life, it's pretty cool. So I guess we should attack first. Although then that risks him even firing one of them. And then we won't, yeah, I, God damn, I don't think I can take that risk. Like, 
I don't know. Because then we definitely don't win. If we don't... Like, we lose this turn if he... You know? Oh, man. Okay, that's GG. Alright, we start off 0-1. Uh, I think our deck's great, but... We just got wizard wizarded out there, you know? And apparently that's one of the best decks in the format, apparently. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope we rally to a 2-1.